I'm Matt Whitney with IPH Hockey. At IPH, we make players better by improving their skills and building their confidence. Remember, you don't work hockey, you play hockey. Today we're going to do the skating medley. The skating medley is a great drill to do to work on several different skating skills in a very short period of time. For this drill, we're going to be set up as drawn. We'll have cones lined up from the goal line up to the blue line. We'll have a line of players in the corner and a coach standing with pucks at about the blue line. In an ideal world, when a youth hockey team has more than one coach, it'd be great if we could have a coach set up here, another coach here, and another coach here. We understand that not every team has four coaches, but the more you have, the better. And if you don't have as many, if you can have one or two set up along this line, that would be great. The first player will push off with their right skate, hard, long stride, landing with their left skate. They'll then push back from their left to the boards, landing with their right. Again, right to left, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up, all the way, all the way. When we get to the last one, they'll push off, land on the boards, continue up, this coach will give that player a pass. We'll continue in, take a shot on net, and then end up back in the corner. For this first part, it's important that coaches are focusing a great deal on the player's form. That's why if we can have more than one coach located along this line, these coaches can continuously correct the players throughout the entire rep. Players' eyes should be up, they should be pushing hard off their back leg and essentially driving off their toe at the very end, and their arms need to be in proper placement. Very often we'll see players have their arms moving across their body, will have their arms moving in the wrong direction, and as a result, their upper body and lower body are fighting each other. This is a great way for coaches to focus on each little bit of that skill throughout this drill. The second portion of this drill will involve a crossover. It's the exact same setup. Players will face down ice with their toes facing the red line. They'll do a big crossover, stop at the cone, crossover back, all the way throughout the progression, stopping at the boards, coming around the top, getting a pass and taking a big shot. Again, coaches will be set up as close to the cones as possible, being able to give correction and also encouragement all the way through. It's important that players know when they're doing a good job. For the next two parts of this drill, we need to be able to set the cones up on both sides of the ice. Coaches can do the drill on this side a few times and then when they're satisfied with the performance, they can move it over to the next side. The first part will be pivots. Players will start up and they will face the middle of the ice. They'll do a big pivot to backwards, cross over one time, and go all the way back, backwards to the boards. When they stop, we'd like to have their toes face the line so they can do a quick crossover start coming back up. Again, pivoting around, backwards, crossover again. So for this drill, it's important that coaches are looking at the player's eyes the entire time. Again, it's nice if we can have a few coaches lined up along the line here so that players can actually make eye contact with their coach as they pivot. I think that's a good place for a coach to tell a player they're doing a great job. After they finish, they come around the top, get a pass, take a big shot. The last variation of this drill will simply be a tight turn. First player will come up, skate around the cone, tight turn, stop facing their line, cross over, all the way around, cross over, stop facing their line, do it again. All the way through, again come around the top, pass, big shot on net. For this portion, it's very important that players are being held accountable for their sticks as well as their head placement. We like to tell our players to make sure that their stick is coming around the cone first. You'll see on this side, righties will oftentimes leave their stick essentially behind the cone and pivot around their stick. We like to have it out front so it's easy to receive a pass. Also, it's important that players' heads are turning right away. The quicker you turn your head, the quicker your body will follow. Another reason why we want our players to have their sticks in front is that when it's behind them, their body weight is in the wrong place. We're taking a turn and we're trying to move forward. When we plant our stick, we plant our weight behind, which resists our body and oftentimes players will spin out, so to speak, as they make their turn. Connecticut Hockey. Train hard, play harder.